place a train. Hi, I'm Carl Franklin, and this is my blazer train. Jump on board and ride the rails with me through the torturous terrain of trite train metaphors and gratuitously goofy gags like this one. Whoa, whoa. As we travel through tenebrous tunnels and over treacherous trellises traversing the wonderfully webby world of Microsoft Blazor. Blazor Train is an extensive class on Microsoft Blazor, which if you haven't heard, Blazor is an extremely productive technology for developing web applications using HTML markup and the C-sharp programming language. The topics are as concise as they can be, making it easy for experienced developers to jump right in wherever they want, and those new to Blazor can watch them in order, starting right here. As for me, I've been writing code since 1985. You know what that makes me? Frickin' old. That's what that makes me. Uh, in August 2002, I started a podcast called .NET Rocks. You know, the word podcast didn't even exist back then. I just called it an internet audio talk show for .NET developers. I'm also an author. I speak at conferences all over the world. And I've done an extensive amount of training, first for my old training company, Franklin's Net, and currently for App V Next. I'm also a Microsoft MVP. Needless to say, I've written a lot of software. And in my 35 years as a coder, I've never been more productive developing apps, especially web apps, than I have been with Blazor. And after watching this series, you too will have a new superpower. Use it wisely. Let's talk about installing Blazor. Blazor comes in two flavors, Blazor Server, and Blazor WebAssembly. To simplify things just a bit, let's just say that the code in Blazor Server runs on a server, and the code in Blazor WebAssembly runs in the browser. I'll go into much more detail in the next topic. If you're using Visual Studio 2019 or later, you can already build a Blazor Server application. Congratulations, it's in the box. If you want to build a Blazor WebAssembly application, it may or may not be in the box, depending on when you're watching this video. You see, Blazor WebAssembly is a bit of a moving target in 2020. If right now it's November or later, and you're developing in a newer Visual Studio and against .NET 5, congratulations, it's in the box. But I have an up-to-date page with a video that explains the current state of Blazor WebAssembly and what you need to install, or not, to create a Blazor WebAssembly application. Go to install.blazertrain.com for timely instructions. Well, this was certainly the shortest topic in the class, and for a complete list of the topics, plus access to the slides and the sample code, go to blazertrain.com. Hey, thanks for riding the rails today. This is where I jump off. I'll see you next time. Place a train